What's up, fellas? I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support we've been getting on the channel and the Twitch and the TikTok and the Insta recently. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do stream three times a week. That's actually the reason why I had the goofy haircut you're about to see and that you saw in my other medieval food review. So this will be the last video with that haircut simply because uh, I had to buzz it to look professional for work. But I did a few videos with it because I had it, so I figured I might as well. So if you want to see more stuff like that in the making, make sure to follow my Twitch right here. Uh, I'm live three times a week. I do goofy challenges. Uh, the night I'm uploading this, which is Thursday the 21st, I'm going to be doing uh, a limited time challenge making hot dogs for like channel points. So you watch, you earn some points, you follow, you get some more, and you can make me eat a hot dog. Uh, so I do stuff like that. Uh, we'll do a food roulette at 100 followers. So... I just want to say thanks for the support and go check out my, my Twitch and my socials if you haven't. Uh, without further ado, let's roll that intro and get in with the final medieval food review. Do, 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 do. It's Henry's Tutorials. Woo! Hello, children. Welcome to another episode of Medieval Food Reviews with Henry. Today we will be reviewing Improved Hot Cat. I believe my, my descendant far in the future in the year of 2018 reviewed, reviewed Hot Cat, but he did not add salt to his Hot Cat. This is proper Hot Cat that has been salted and baked. So without further ado, let's give it a go. Hard to chew as always, just as my master makes it. I was actually quite a bit sneaky and took a piece before it's fully hot and crunchy. Much more enjoyable that way. We have to let the rest set so that way it lasts for years to come. This has been a staple snack of mine for my entire 32 years of existence. And while it's quite bland, it does fill the belly. It goes great with a good cup of tea, I do say. Well, I wouldn't recommend it to all. It's only for those of the the strong willpower to endure a pound of this stuff. It is quite good for today's standards. So for the 1300 food reviews, I would say this is a, a, a solid four out of five. It's, it's certainly something to eat, and it'll, it'll keep the... It'll prevent you from passing out due to the hunger. But for modern day standards, it's probably a, a one out of five noise. It's just quite blonde. That there's no flavor to it, and it's, it's incredibly hard to chew and get through, but it'll last you for years and years. So, thank you for tuning in to this, this medieval food review.